Hi guys. Can't be down in the shed. Been uh, tidying up before I do some work on a couple of bikes. Got to yank those cones out in a minute because I've got a load of those axles and things. Got down the back where I knocked them out of the tin off the top there the other day. Had a few things for the car boot. Uh, barrier post, barrier paddle, old BT barrier, very old one. Road sign, nine inch grinder, and all sorts of there. Like bits, monitors. Uh, it's about my third attempt at doing this because I keep being distracted. That's why I don't like doing videos out here. But, uh. Yeah. That monitor can go in my trailer for scrap. I don't want that one. Uh. My old top box goes on the pad. Which currently has no back wheel because it's a mum's. Seriously, all I need to do is put new tires on it, put a new front bearing in it, put the exhaust back on, and it's good to go for an MOT. Everything works on it. Everything works. Oh, well, I need a battery. I do have one. <laughs> I've got an old battery there, but don't think that one charge. I'll have to take it up and see if I can get it to charge. I actually forgot that battery was on there. Right. Right there, uh, yeah. So, I need two hands to drag these cones out, so... I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and come back when I've got them out. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I've just had those out and swept. So I've just got to go around and pick all the shit up. Sweep the floors, and I'm done. I'll just put some stuff up. Far out the way as bloody possible. Uh, the bike seats can stay. That's got to come down. I don't want it. Oh. A roll piece of road equipment. I want another one of these if I can find one. So I've got a pair, but they can't lean up to do some. Uh, doesn't seem to exist anymore. Melba products. I just do that. And strut on top of the cone. And you slide one of those panels into the slots. So yeah, could do with another one. But uh, extremely hard to find now. Unfortunately. Right. Bucket of axles that go up here. Tub of stuff to sort through there. Uh, raining again, so I'm glad I'm in here. A few items to stuff back up on the shelf.
I don't know. I don't really need all of these, do I? Yeah, I think I will take that one with a cone bracket. And one there a cone bracket. There's one more upstairs I can take. Go in there. Two of these dormant cone lights. lights upstairs, so in that goes, I've got loads of current lights upstairs actually. So, we never know. I'll get a couple of quid each for them, and I'm worth that. Uh, that one works, and that is actually one I do use, and have used. Yeah, metal handle on. Right. What's the next job? I think to pick up as much as much of this shit as possible. I've got a dustpan, but I don't have a dustpan brush. So let's keep my ears open for anyone walking around here, because I don't want to get distracted again. I've been distracted twice already. Remember not to sit on the back of this pen because there's no wheel in it. Oh, the nut's still on the axle. Yeah, it is. Good. I don't want to lose that bloody thing. Yeah, so this is my. I've got the keys upstairs. So that'll be my old runabout, I hope, soon. I think I might make it my next project before I do anything else related to. Road lamps, computers, or Lego. CBT on this. I'll get my CBT so I can use this and get this MOT'd and taxed. There's no leaky shocks or anything on it. There's the uh, hammerite shocks at the front there. Just went underneath and hammerite the front just to tidy it up. That's all, just to tidy it up. Uh, I've got to get exhaust back on it. Uh, probably want fresh fuel in it, although it does run on the fuel that's in it. Can't fire it up now, because one, I can't get to the kickstart, and two, I ain't got the keys down here. And for some reason, when there's no battery, the fuel gauge always says half full. It only works when there's a battery on it. But, uh, when I first got it, none of the indicators worked. Neither did the headlight, neither did the tail light or brake light. None of the lights worked, and it was all due to a wire that was going to the ignition switch. Um, there's like a plug that loom plugs into on the back of the switch, and uh, one of the kit connections had corroded so I just bypassed that connection from the plug and hardwired the two wires together and Bob's your uncle that fixed the problem. But yeah this does run start off the um, electric start as well as the kick start. But like I said a wheel bearing's got a little wobble wheel bearing. Front wheel's got a little wobble in it because of the wheel bearing. It's only a slight wobble. But Seeing as I've got to take the wheel out to change their tyres anyway, I figured I might as well do the bearing. So it might pass, it might be an advisory, I don't know, I don't want to take that risk. Distractions. So, I'll probably coat the wheels with a nice coat of paint as well. My stepdad's got, um, wire brush attachments for a drill, so I'll just wire brush them and give them a quick spray. But, uh, I think it's a 1992 if I remember rightly. Really. Remember, always wear a helmet, preserve nature. 
Ride safely, read owner's manual carefully before riding. No, shut up. <laughs> no switch. Start button. High beam, low beam. They're on high beam for some reason. Indicators, horn, skip the usual stuff, usual warning lights. Oil light, indicator, high beam light. All works. Oh, I need a bulb for the headlight as well, which I've got in there now. Can't remember where I nicked that from. Yeah. She's all good to go. Got a side panel missing from here, but it's, you know, it's not going to affect the ride. It is only for decoration, really, isn't it? Is it this side or is it the other side? No, it's the other side, because that panel is for... I'm oh, sorry, it's this panel that's missing, because that one's for the left side. That one has a battery cover missing. I'm not sure if that that's an MOT failure or not. <coughs> Uh, as far as cones go, there's nothing really interesting in there. They're all near enough modern. Monkey JSP cone there. Another JSP one underneath. Oh, look! Typical British weather. It's nice, bright, and sunny, and it's pissing down. You can only get two kinds of weather like that in Britain. Uh, I might as well show you the lights while I'm in here. Got this light. I've got that one. And that one. That one's a bit dodgy. Sometimes that come on, sometimes it don't. But uh, all they are is uh, old caravan lights. Just pop that lens back on because I knocked it. So I'll turn that one off if I need. And they're just running from a 12 volt battery. It's actually a motorbike battery. <laughs> Brand new one. Bought for a project uh, that my little brother had and was never used, so I collywogged it. Got an outside light as well, but to use that. I have the main lights on to use the outside lights. Got another one of those I'm probably going to put up there. Well, I don't need to do that yet because I barely use them this time of year. Right. I suppose less yapping, more doing, so. In fact, well, here we go. All nice and tidy ish. Give the floor a sweep, put those more bits up the top there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Forgot both those lights have got batteries in as well. So they work. But, uh, I suppose I better take a couple of items around to the scrap trailer and I need a pee, so I may take that stuff upstairs in the trailer over there and uh, start dragging the cones down. And I've got a wheel over there that someone should be picking up tomorrow. Uh, yeah. And actually, that one might be a seven speed as well. I might give him that one. Well, either way, I've got a seven-speed wheel. Uh, right. Man, the showers we've had today. Haven't had no hail yet. Apparently, some parts of Norfolk have had hailstorms, but none out this way yet. Just rain. Not that you'd know it, because it's all bone dry out here now. <laughs> nice and bright and sunny, so you wouldn't probably wouldn't believe me. But, uh, as you, well, if it wasn't recorded earlier in the video, then you wouldn't believe me. It's actually been fairly quiet around here today. The bird feeders have been quiet. Um, 
Right, so what have we got to do now? Uh, I need to go take a piece and we'll do that first and take some cardboard stuff upstairs. I might come back down here, tinker with some bikes. And I've got wheels and stuff to uh, throw up there out of the way. For some reason I can't get my bungee cord back out of there. Put the damn hook through, but now I don't want to come back. <laughs> I don't know why. Bloody things went through there when I hung up, hung it up. That's what I used to uh, hang that shopper bike on to spray it. But I won't come back either way now. Eee! Stupid things went through there. I don't know. Right, so I'm going to get on with that. And, uh, talk to her again. Well, I'm back for the last time. Start to pack everything away. As you can see. And as you can see, it's been pissing it down as well. Uh, I've got to drag that trailer up the other end so I can empty that stuff out. That's got to go on the trailer. Scrap trailer. And there's my new toy. Complete with the blue light. <laughs> the one of my lights that run from the battery. Oh, I a big 6 volt battery in. Blue light does work. And it's going to work. <laughs> I've had fun. A little mud guards on it now as well. Right, let's go to the scrap program as well. So, I need to go to the Sainsbury's and get some tea because I'm actually getting hungry now. Eh? We've got the news on on the radio. Uh, move my sign over here so it's easier to get to. Uh, yeah, should be able to get both bikes back in here. I hope. I may have to put that one up on end. Yeah, I'll have to put that one up on end. Right, so, uh, like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And, uh, thanks for watching, and until the next video, I'll talk to you again soon. Soon.